All right, here's something a little different that uh, I was wondering about a couple of weeks ago, and so was Slider. Is uh, it was there a possible way to make one of these rechargeable lead alum cells in a crystal? And I was able to do that today, and uh, he and I both talked about it, and I'm sure John Bardini's thought about it too. Is you know John Bardini's uh, alum crystal batteries that are basically a melted alum with the magnesium and copper. Um, they work. I have some here at the house. Uh, but you add a little water to them to activate them. Uh, this uh, idea was if we could form a crystal between the two plates after they were already formed. In other words, the uh, oxides were already there on the plates and then put a crystal between the two formed plates. Would there be a way to put a slow charge on these things very very gradually and then get that to take a charge and I was able to do that today and um, you see I have these holes drilled in the plate there that's so the crystal would go all the way through and add more surface area and hold everything together and the way it was made was I took these uh, linotype lead plates and um, put them in the uh, solution of alum and water uh, this is this um, aluminum, ammonium aluminum sulfate alum, and I'm pretty sure it'll work with uh, the other kind of alum also. But uh, after I got these formed up, and I made sure I had the brown on one and the gray on the other one, I let them dry, and then I took the alum and I poured it in this little cup and melted it on the stove until I got a melted... Uh, substance. This would all melt down into a melt. And then I poured it on these um, plates and made a little mold and uh, poured poured the cell and then let it cool down, put it in the freezer and let it cool down and then started working it. And at first nothing happened. I had like uh, 0.1 volts. That's all I could get on it. But I discovered if I hydrated the alum crystal and there's going to be a lot of people who go, well, what was the point then? But uh, anyways, remember, this is just something I'm trying. But if I dipped that whole thing in there and got it a little bit moist, then I could start working it. And these uh, lead uh, rechargeable cells, uh, we found out that you have to exercise them back and forth and back and forth to get them stronger and stronger. And uh, this was able to get enough of a charge to run the little oscillator here. Let me see how that works. It should work here. You have to use very slow charge. This is like three milliamps off of that thing. Uh, if you try to fast charge it, it just doesn't work. It basically tries to boil the thing, and it can't boil it, so it just nothing happens. So, you know, let's see if I can get this hooked up here. Okay, there goes the oscillator. Let's see if that running or not. And like I say, this is a solid crystal here. This is a um, not paste. This is actually uh, formed into a solid. And you can see that in the dish here that after it melts down and cools, it just goes into a solid chunk. And that's what that is. It's a solid chunk between the plates. And uh, it does run this little oscillator. This is about all it runs. Um, it has very little power. Um, I'm thinking if, if you wrap this up in something, you might get more power out of it, but that would defeat the purpose. Uh, this is the one that uh, I've been working with here that's wrapped up. It stays moist. Let me show that. And that has the power. But what I did want to try was to see if you could actually make a crystalline uh, solid thing. And uh, it kind of works, but like I say, the only way I could get it to really... Uh, take a charge was to get it moist and uh, get some moisture in that crystal otherwise it really didn't work so and this is the other one like I say that's um, more appropriate is this thing here which has got the the mixture on a on a paper towel wrapped around the plates in, in a semi pasty form and that that works quite well. You see that comes on real bright. And um, depending on how much surface area you get on that, this this is quite effective. 
Now I've sent away for some uh, lead oxide to try to form this same kind of a cell putting the lead oxide in the holes and then forming it up with the lead oxide and I should get that kind of performance on that only much much better and it'll be similar to what you get on a, a real lead acid uh, car type battery so anyway I just want to share that with people that's my latest with the little uh, lead alum cells thanks for watching